Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today I would like to talk about one of the most popular pattern in the jewelry design, it's scoring pattern. This pattern has been using throughout the jewelry history. And today I wanted to show you the step-by-step -step tutorial in the Rhino 3D software. Are you ready? Let's get started. So I already have this pattern uh, and trace over and if you would like to starting at this point, you can go to the link in the description below and I have a newsletter for you to sign up then you are able to download a Rhino 5 file so that makes sure everybody will able to assess it. And if you want to draw your own design, that's fine too. Um, we are going to starting with this curve and I'm going to show you the certain things you need to edit. Uh, once you trace over. As you can see, they are main structure right here. And also they are like smaller structure. Well, to work on those things, you always want to starting from your main structure. And for this, we are hoping to get a one big, uh, one big sweep but as you can see this tiny things like those extra coming out uh, at this part this part it will cause the problem for us to sweep because any of the fall back or curve back the sweep is not going to happen in that way so what i like to do on this one is i'm going to uh for easier for you to see i'm going to uh invert a selection and hiding the rest of them and so that's just dealing with this one. With this one, we want to split something. So first of all, that's exploded and see how many pieces they become to. Uh, to. And we wanted to cut out those uh, small pieces there. So that's using the uh, split command and we want to split with the point. So this is the point I want to split there. And as you can see, this is like um, separate there. So that's hiding this one. And this one too, I want to split with the point roughly about here. And again, that's hiding this one. And I think there's one more on the top. We want to split with the point and that's hiding there. Okay, so that's just uh, hiding there. So that's just dealing with this. We need to have a completely sweep. So we need to connect it those back. We are going to use blend curve and we're going to blend from here to here and again here to here and you will have a window like this you can adjust the blend if you want to uh, but I simply just gonna get something like that and actually make sure you uh, close together now we also need to be really careful on those sharp point because those sharp point is also where it's going to turn and at this sharp point it's going to cause a lot of problem so we wanted to smooth it out you can simply use the um, fitted curve and give something pretty big fitted if that work for you or what I like to do is I can delete all those points right there and kind of just drag it back something like this so get it something like uh, round and smooth something like that okay and then I'm also going coming back and do the same thing on the top right here just did it some point and bring back here at this point and this point all right so now we are ready to creating our uh, two sweep. So let me go ahead to use a split command one more time. And this time let's uh, split right at somewhere in the middle point right here. And also the point about right here. Okay, so now as you can see, I have two curves. So for this curve, let me turn it into the green color is easier for you to see. Okay, now we got one there, we got the other one there. All right, it's a little bit easy, but I guarantee that's gonna work. Huh? Okay, so let's go ahead to uh, make sure uh, select the circle and I click on the vertical and I wanna snapping into the near point here and the near point over here. Okay, so now if we just doing the sweep like this way, a lot of people are uh, having this uh, problem is you do sweep one, sweep two, uh, a rail, and then you click on the cross section. They only do half of them, 
right? And we do not want to just half of them. We want to have a completed piece. So this is what we are going to do. We're going to do the sweep to rail. You got rail one, you got rail two, and you want to starting from this point right here and snapping into the end point. Click on the middle cross section and click on the point one more time and we want to snapping into the end point and you click enter. All right. So now you got this beautiful shape. So however, this surface doesn't look nice. As you can see, it's kind of almost fighting over there. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to add slash and then we want to adding slash maybe here to relax them a little bit. So it's not too much of a tension like this and like this and also over there. So it looks smoother and the same thing we wanted to do is like so much of a tension right there. And I just want to add slash coming over here because this is like turning. So if you don't do this, your surface will be like twisting and it won't look good. Okay, so that's why we adding the slash and you hit enter again. Let's take a look on the uh, perspective. All right, so it look much nicer now and then we want to click OK. So that is our main structure. All right, I'm going to turn this main structure into the green color and we just going to turn on the rest of it. OK, so the, for the rest of it, um, we can actually make just one of this and just the duplication um, to copy to other places if that were for you. So let's go back to the top view. We're going to deal with the same situation like this one that's exploded first. And then we got that curve and this curve. This curve need to be split with the point. And then let me hide in this one first. And we are going to blend the same thing with the main structure going from here to here and then click OK. All right. Now also this spot right there, we could, the other way to do it is we can turn on the control point and we can delete some of them there. All right. And then you can also, uh, the one that already joined, deleted, it will automatically connect it. The other way I wanted to show you is we can actually blend from here to here. And then uh, if you feel like this is a lot more smoother, you would like to go this way, that will be fine as well. Okay. So we hit join. And uh, so we have this piece here. Now, What's the problem that's going to happen is like you see this line is not touching the body. So you need to make sure that they are touching the body. And I'm going to move it something like this. All right. This line also, if you have a cross section really big there, uh, it will change the shape a lot. Well, I try to maintain into the circle. So I need to make sure that those points are really close together or something, at least something like this. Okay, and then maybe I want to delete one point there. As long as it's inside of the body. Okay, so that may work. Um, you If if you don't like this slight bump there, uh, you can rebuild the, the curve if you want to. All right, so let's go ahead to split one more time with the point somewhere in the middle, so right here. Okay, again, I'm going to turn in one of the curve into other color so it's easier for you to see. All right, so I got one curve, two curve, and we need a cross section. So let's go ahead to use the circle. And um, in the circle, you have the option for two point, which is the diameter. And I want to pick up the vertical and snapping into the end point here and end point here. All right, let's take a look on the perspective. This is quite important. You do not want them to stick it out of the body. As you I can see that this is already sticky out, right? So let's go ahead to use the gumball. Just want the scale, make it just a little bit smaller there. All right, so when you sweep, it's not stick it out. Let's give it a try. Sweep to rail. You got rail one, rail two, cross section. And um, let's hit enter. And again, you can see this is really stressed. Um, too much attention there. So we want to add slash here. And let's add slash about here, roughly about here, here, 
and here. All right, so it looked much better. And then we click OK. And let's take a look on that. All right, so you need to make sure that it is inside of this shape there. All right, so very last point that we have, we want to turn on this like look like a thumb. Little little piece over there, and we're gonna do the same thing. Um, in this case, I actually want to rebuild. It's like way too many point, so maybe twenty point. It's enough. Um, so let's click OK, and you can, it's much easier for you to edit if you don't like the shape. Uh, you can keep editing to make it nice and round. Uh, first things first, we wanted to make sure this is inside of the body. And this one is like way too much uh, flare out. We are going to flare out later with the um, fitted edges. And in this case, we just need them to stick inside of the body. And of course, you can adjust it if it doesn't look nice. OK, all right. So now we have that. Again, we're going to use the uh, circle with the diameter. And hit on the vertical here, and that's snapping into the endpoint. Endpoint. Take a look on the perspective view, and see if it's stick it out. Of course, it's like way stick it out way too much, as you can see there. So we want to 1D scale it down, and something like this. Okay. Uh, make sure it's not stick it out the head there. All right. So let's go ahead to split this one with the point and somewhere here. OK, we got rail 1, rail 2. So sweep to rail. You got rail 1, rail 2, cross section. And we get this one here. All right. So now if everything look OK to you, make sure they are not stick it off of the body. Make sure the shape is follow it. Uh, we are going to uh, bowling in there, but we do have those shapes that we can co um, copy over there. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to have in this piece and just mirror to the other side for whatever angle. That's fine. And we simply just going to moving this one. You can custom on every single piece if that work for you uh, for the demonstration. And I'm just going to do this way. Uh, it's faster. But again, you can custom any piece that you like. All right, so that is that. And I'm also going to mirror this one as well. And it's going to move in here. Roughly like this. And then you can scale 1D or something uh, if that works for you. Or you can even use spin. So I'm going to fast forward this one. All right, so once we have it, um, we're going to trim something first, right? So this is definitely way too much. So we are going to come into the top view and coming over here. And let's trim it this way to this way and have this one to trim here. All right, and double make sure that um, this view is not, it's not like a uh, uh, stick it out or something and sometimes what you can do also if you feel like that is a little bit too thin you can actually increasing uh, the thicknesses if you want to as long as it's not stick it out like this one I may make it a little bit too fat there okay um, this one look good this one on the top it is inside of the body again we can see if you want to increasing the thickness on that one. Sometimes those are a little piece if you get it too thin and then um, it just doesn't get print. Uh, or if you get print after polish, it just you cannot see it, right? So for those uh, tiny pieces, we want to make sure that it's thick enough, but it's not stick it out. Like this is almost safe there. All right, so and then this one over here, as uh, so you can see, stick it out from inside. We might need to cut something this way. So let's draw a straight line. 
and we're gonna go this way and have this one to trim this one okay so look something like this all right and then double check like this one is already stick it out we want to make it thinner and maybe tilt it a little bit and moving in a little bit like this okay all right so if everything look all right to you they are all surface beside this green one um, it's a closed surface the rest of them they all open so what we wanted to do is we want to select everybody and we just use the command cap and make sure that every of them now is a closed solid polished surface as you can see here here all of them are closed solid polished surface okay so once they all solid and then double make sure you know the the size it's the thicknesses and everything is look all right then you can go ahead to bowling uh, union all of them once you're bowling union first things to check if they still close solid polished surface that's super super important okay the second things we wanted to do is giving the fitted so i'm going to try something really small like 0 0.3 here and see if it's working there all right and you want to do this individual um, because if you do all of them at once you may have a negative edges and you don't know which one that caused it so something like this one and always click on it and see the property and see if they are still polished surface one by one right it might take some time to do it um, but it's okay it's not too bad all right and also as you giving a fitted edges you notice that it, it kind of fitting into what we already uh, plan to have this like really smooth blending into the body right so we want to keep doing that all right so be really careful on this one notice like this tiny gap there if i use a 0.3 on this one for example and then um you can see I will have a big issue there it's because that doesn't have enough space right so what we wanted to do is you can use the point three on this one but uh, you want to add a handle somewhere over here and uh, you want to drag in this end ha uh, handle smaller as long as it's smaller than the distance uh, to this edge over here and then we want to click OK all right so <clears throat> Even though we try to do something like really small, it's not touching that, that still gives us a problem. And you might have a fitted issue sometime like this. No matter what you try, no matter how small that you're giving it, it still have the problem. So what you want to do is you want to use the extract surface and you want to extract a bunch of them right here. Okay, and make sure you join those back. And on the top view, what we like to do it's moving out a little bit like something like this okay you can even cut this bigger in this case I might want to you know get a better blend by giving a little bit bigger opening there and using this curve to trim the surface right there so now you can see it is a bigger cut there all right so we're gonna use the command under the surface you got the blend surface and you want to make sure the chain edge is equal yes and you want to go from this edges to this edges make sure that they all align over there and then we want to click enter okay so you will have this uh dialogue uh coming up you can you can adjust this to see like how much you want them to blend uh, you can move it individually if you want to so uh uh, do whichever you think the shape will look nice all right so after that you click OK don't forget to join them all right once you join double make sure it's a closed solid polished surface so that will be our pattern okay to apply for the ring band we just need to arrange the pattern to um, the surface extracting from this ring 
and use a flow along surface. I've been talking about this technique in many other videos. And then you will have this beautiful uh, pattern flow to the ring shank. Hey, how do you like this pattern? I hope you enjoy this video. If you're interested in learning more about Jewelry Cat, I have four different courses on my website that will help you in all level. Check out my courses at the description below. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.